Yes, um, sometimes it's not your night and sometimes it doesn't work out and tonight's one of those nights where it didn't work for us and it did for them. You've kind of had one of the top offenses in the Sun Belt all season long. Is it just like slick conditions today and how the ball was rolling? Or? Um, well, it didn't help that our top centre forward didn't play. Mm-hmm. There's no excuses, but mm-hmm. we're talking about our efforts, he scored 10 goals this year and he's been very dangerous against teams. So. Without him, we didn't have quite the teeth that we've had all season. Now, you did have a couple guys end up on the the postseason all-conference list and things like that. And How important is that recognition, especially in a conference that is as tough as the Sun Belt? Uh, As tough as the Sun Belt is and as tough a conference as it is, it's important that those guys get recognized. Um, I felt like we may have got a few more recognized, but it's important that they do because it's important to them. And, uh, obviously to the program. Now kind of looking forward maybe even reflecting on the season we talk a lot about and we've had some teams talk about the transfer portal and how things shake out and how important it is to kind of keep players especially again being in a competitive league and how are you kind of approaching that as you enter the off season and looking forward to building that team for next season? Well we've had a very good season we've had 10 wins you know we've only lost to some very big teams um, so I think the core of our players, I think we have 12 that could possibly return and I hope that all 12 do because it has been a good season, they've had a good time, we've had a good time doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, not the ideal ending but like I said I hope that they come back and we're working very hard to build the squad to be even better than it's been this year so that's kind of 